go back there. I think you should get
commencement and remain standing through the national anthem.
be seated. <clears throat> Good evening, parents, friends, administrators, Dr. Kim Fraker, and school board members. I am your senior class president, Matthew Gentry Spence, and I welcome you to the class of 2022's first and only high school graduation. Friends, students, classmates, we had one heck of a high school career. And I would wager to say that we are the most experienced graduating class in our school's history. We came to Gordon Central fresh from our middle school to get exposed to freedoms we never had before like the hour-long lunch. We came back our 10th grade year only to go home three months early on the Ides of March due to COVID finally reaching us. We came back to a completely new school our 11th grade year as we struggled in a post-COVID world where its influence was still felt with the school being cut in half by the blue tape in the hallways and extracurriculars being canceled. We came back one last time as a school rep returning to a bit of normalcy with activities from our ninth and 10th grade years being restored. That has been our high school career, ladies and gentlemen, coming back. It is hard to believe we've gotten to this point with the reality of that only now starting to dawn on some of us. This is a bittersweet moment. Our die is now cast into this large world while we transition into adulthood. Friends, now that most of the deep stuff is over, let's lighten up the mood one last time. Let me remind some of you of the ever ticking clock Mr. Albright becomes when he sees a senior in the halls. All those who stayed up studying for tests the day before and those who fell asleep and wrote their essays the day of. You know who you are. Let us also remember the breaks from class and little fun moments we would all have during the old pep rallies in our early high school career. I will end on a personal note. To all my friends who were with me all these years, and while I, don't, while I do not always understand you or express this enough, I thank you. I will now pass it on to my friends Lindsay and Landon who will speak momentarily.
Good evening, members of the board, Dr. Kim Fraker, Principal Brian Hall, faculty, incredible teachers, beloved coaches and directors, honored guests, parents, guardians, family, friends, and fellow class of 2022 graduates. My name is Lindsay Grace Lowrance, and it is with the utmost honor that I stand before you tonight representing the class of 2022 as the valedictorian. I am Drew Landon Luggenbuehl, the class of 2022 salutatorian. It has been quite the journey for each of us to be able to walk across the stage tonight. Both the trials and triumphs of life have shaped us into the young men and women that we are today. As the lyrics of our graduation song read, the courage of a dreamer, the innocence of youth, the failures and the foolishness lead us to the truth. Each of us has followed a unique path to graduation tonight. In each of our own ways, we have overcome what life has thrown at us, some tackling more of life's challenges than others. I want to applaud and personally congratulate each of you tonight for your perseverance and strength to make it to where you are today. We have learned, grown, and accomplished much through our school years. We all started in kindergarten struggling, but we would eventually master our alphabet letters and counting numbers, only to reach high school and learn them in a new language. For most of us, our identity as warriors began in elementary school at the big blue pep rallies. As we gathered in Ratner Stadium, we cheered on the blue and white and imagined the day that we would be the big high schoolers leading it. We did not realize at the time that we were standing with our future classmates, but when Principal Doug Clark asked, who are we? We all united as one tribe replied, warriors. Then we left all we knew as fifth graders to journey to middle school. We learned to open lockers, we made new friends, and we further embraced the warrior spirit. We endured pals and made embarrassingly awkward videos on our new iPads, and survived dodgeball Fridays in the unair conditioned Ashworth gym. And then our childhood dreams were achieved, and we became high schoolers. As lost freshmen in the halls, reliant on upperclassmen for directions to class, we had no way of knowing the history that would be lived and made as the class of 2022. We made it through high school despite the disruption of a pandemic, and because of the perseverance of our class, we have left quite the legacy. Our class led the band, pep club, and cheer and football teams for many memorable games under the Friday night lights. In 2021, our literary team and boys soccer team became the first two teams in school history to become region champions on the same day. Our academic team qualified for national competition twice. Charlie Garcia, Cassie Chastain, and Dean Rice set new school records for their respective sports. Our boys tennis team, girls tennis team, and boys soccer team made school history with consecutive trips to the state playoffs. Our literary team continued the 11-year streak of literary region championships. Our girls basketball team continued their five-year streak of state playoff appearances. And of course, we cannot forget the accomplishments of our state champion one-act team, literary state champions, and the Skills USA state champion, Paul Guerrero. As Mr. Wiley likes to say, Go Warriors! We are told that high school makes up the best years of our lives. It has been pounded and drilled into our brains that we will look back upon these tender moments in the future. Through the plethora of changes we have endured, however, I know many of us feel like some part of our identity was taken away. Perhaps we lost something that was integral to these adolescent memories that we may have wished to share in the future. The important point, however, is that we have triumphed through adversity, even if we stumbled along the way. Perseverance is a much desired trait in our generation, and you have shown that you will carry it into your futures. The class of 2022 is brought together by something bigger than the time we have spent at the school, more accurately, the memories that were made here. Our high school experience is one only we can tell about. No other graduating class shares the same story of perseverance. Similarly, each of us carries our own experiences, God-given gifts, appreciated talents, and passionate pursuits that make each of us unique. Class of 2022, my challenge to you is to embrace your uniqueness. Adrian Miles, founder of the Pole Movement and a mentor of mine, once said, the very moment we look in the mirror and see a uniquely created human being staring back at us, 
That is the moment that we recognize just how valuable we are. Embrace the uniqueness of who, of who you have been created to be and recognize the value of who you have become. When we do this, we will begin to see glimpses of our future potential. Future success will look differently for each of us because of our uniqueness. Some of us will attend college in a few months, some of us will serve in the military, and some of us will enter the workforce. Whatever your future holds, it is important that each of us pursues our own version of success. Class of 2022, do not allow others to define your future or your success. While others may have their opinions, you are the one who decides where you will travel in the journey of life. And remember that because you are unique, your future and your success may not look like those around you. May we, as a class, embrace that reality. Graduates, I encourage you to strive to give your best in everything you do. You will not be perfect and you will make mistakes. But as author Ken Perot said, wisdom comes from making mistakes, having the courage to face them, and making adjustments moving forward based upon the knowledge acquired through those experiences. Class of 2022, be okay with making mistakes and growing wiser. Follow your passions, pursue your dreams, raise a family, serve the community. Whatever you choose to do beyond high school and beyond graduation, I encourage you to begin each day by looking yourself in the mirror and recognizing that you are uniquely created. Then give your best in all that you do and success will find you in your own unique way. Our accolades and honors only show one side of the story. They represent our success, but not what allowed us to succeed. Perhaps when you all walk across this stage later this evening, you will think of the trials that you have faced and overcome. Then look into the audience to see those kind, supportive faces that have helped you through them. We cannot acknowledge our accomplishments, our growth, and our future without recognizing those who have shaped us into who we are today and supported us in every step of the way. Our parents, family, loved ones, and honored guests. I have to thank my teachers for pushing and encouraging me to succeed, my friends and peers for usually creating an enjoyable educational environment. Um, I would like to personally acknowledge Renee and Alan Hughes, Neil Crawford, and Connie Worley for being excellent instructors. They showed care for the material they taught. They easily could have been content with students knowing the minimum curriculum they required, but they would separate from these main lessons to give a deeper understanding of the topics they were dealing with. Um, my family's been pretty too, uh, pretty cool, I, I guess. I mean, um, thank you guys a lot. You've done a lot for me. Um, stop crying, Kendall, wherever you are. Um, special thanks to my girlfriend of three years, Shyler Pope. Uh, she's been the world to me. To my mentors, teachers, coaches, and directors, thank you for sharing your wisdom and investing in my life. I want to extend a special thank you to Dr. Kim Waters, Mr. Richard Bristow, Ms. Renee Hughes, Ms. Heidi Weaver, and Ms. Connie Worley for encouraging me to pursue my passions and for helping shape me into who I am today. To my family and friends, thank you for all the love, support, and prayers. Mom and Dad, 143, thank you for being my greatest teachers and biggest supporters. Soli Deo Gloria. On behalf of the entire senior class, we extend a warm thank you and deep gratitude to all who sit in our audience tonight who have supported us through life thus far and will continue to support us beyond graduation. We, the class of 2022, owe all of tonight to you. Congratulations, fellow graduates. Today, Today we, we celebrate, celebrate as our future, future begins, begins tonight. tonight. Thank, thank you. you. Good evening, parents, students, faculty, staff, community members, and the Gordon Central High School class of 2022. My name is Mr. Brian Hall, and I am privileged to be the principal of my alma mater speaking to these uh, inspiring graduates today. Thank you to our superintendent, Dr. Kimberly Fraker, assistant superintendent, Mrs. Alice Mashburn, uh, board of education chairperson, Mr. Charlie Walraven, and graduate parent board member, Mr. Jason Hendricks, and all members of the board for their leadership, guidance, and support. I am continually grateful and humbled to be a member of our Gordon County community, family, and the Gordon Central tribe. 
There are so many caring people both on and off our campus who give every resource they can to our students because that's what it means to be a GC warrior. I'd like to reinforce that with a, with a quick request. Anyone here tonight who is a graduate of Gordon Central High School, can you please take a second and stand for me? If you graduated from Gordon Central High School. That right there, that is what makes our school special. That's what makes it important for us. We are interconnected now through generations of graduates, giving back to the very same community that gave us our first chances to succeed. The word giving carries a lot of weight to it because of its multiple meanings and uses. I am still the same English teacher at heart, so it's natural that I enjoy talking about words. Um, most people, especially my wife, would agree that I sure do like to talk. But those facts don't dissuade me from talking about the word giving and what it means for the graduating class of 2022. Teachers, in my mind, are naturally givers. We give knowledge, we give skills, opportunity, mentorship, unconditional love, support, the occasional Band-Aid or Kleenex, conversations, right? All these things together, if we aren't giving, then we aren't following our basic mission to maximize these graduates who are here before us and, and all students that we have in class. This Winston Churchill quote really sums it up to me about what it means to be an educator. He said, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. That's the joy of education at Gordon Central High School. We make a life by forging these relationships with our students. And we make a living by what you seniors have given back to us each and every day. I won't drag on an English lesson on the parts of speech, but the word giving when used uh, as an adjective means providing love uh, or other emotional support. It means caring. And as a verb, to give something means to transfer, set aside, devote, hand over, or sacrifice something. You've heard what the faculty and staff have given these seniors from our previous speeches, uh, but I believe it's important to acknowledge what your children have given us in making them unforgettable graduating class. We have so many high school programs that continue to be successful this year. Uh, yes, they achieve that with the help and support of our teachers and coaches. However, everything at GC is what it is because of these seniors and the students who get involved. What you give to these programs are what make them successful and thus successful as a high school. For example, Charlie Garcia made school history in soccer with over 100 career goals. And our goalie, Armando Sanchez, made sure that our opponents didn't do the same. <laughs> they consistently made deep runs in the state playoffs, and the same goes for our girls' soccer team, uh, led by Carly Brock, goalie Sophie Gaither, and Cora Stepp in the previous years. Ms. Madeline Wishon had great success in our FFA program with her work toward a state degree. And when Paul Guerrero isn't being a championship caliber wrestler, he's winning a State Skills USA championship in construction. And Paul, I hope we get to call you a national champion after the summer. Boys tennis seniors Seth Hare, Walker Anglin, Sam Holder, Alejandro Onesto, and Landon Luganbull made state playoffs each year that COVID allowed them to, and GC secured its very first home state playoff match this year. So we're extremely proud of that. <laughs> Our girls golf team won the Region 2A championship, led by Caitlin Chilito, falling just six strokes behind from being state champions themselves. Matthew Spence has been a leader of our Nationals uh, caliber academic and history teams, as well as being involved in the National Honor Society with students like Brace and Hyde. Shell House and Pardue gave new meaning to the term Towers of Terror in, uh, in our basketball team. And Scott James' skills on the basketball court almost outshine the charisma, leadership, and kindness he offers to friends, 
and complete strangers uh, in the hallway. <laughs> so thank you for that. Harrison Benton's pitching, hard work, and leadership on the baseball field set the tone for the program's growth and future. And cross-country athletes like Jesse Ramirez will continue to give me heart palpitations just thinking about how much work and dedication goes into their running. All right, I get the sweats and I'm driving by you. I don't know how y'all do it. It's crazy. Same goes for our track athletes like Dre McIntosh and Jasmine Ullman who are both great at their events and at making me laugh. Jasmine, I don't think you stole my phone today, so we're good. All right? Cade and Ethan Hendricks gave everything their bodies possibly could, uh, that what they could take as offensive linemen to protect the quarterback and open running lanes. They fought hard alongside teammates Randall Carnes and Sean Gray to show our rising football players that you don't quit in the face of adversity. Debbie Herrera and Deanna Martin were leaders on the volleyball court, and cheerleaders like J.C. Hales gave it, uh, gave it their all to provide school spirit and cheer on the sidelines and in the building, even when it seems like we didn't have any during COVID. And who can forget what Rachel Rayleigh, Kim Pasley, Brooke Wilson, and Cassie Chastain gave us each night with their grit, teamwork, and skills on the basketball court. And I know that Savannah Burnett would have given anything to have been able to play her senior year. JRTC leaders like homecoming king Isaac Camposano and, K and Kaylin Chapman gave themselves to a purpose and a cause, as does Fellowship of Christian Athletes student leader Lindsay Lowrance. Lindsay is a constant reminder of what giving back to the community looks like. And just as we talk about athletics, the same is given prevalence in our fine arts programs. Xander Briscoe gave us inspiring tuba solos and hair that makes me envious. <laughs> and drumline captain Ar uh, Arancha Campos' skills made me want to put on a marching snare and drum again. Emma Freeman rocks a French horn like you wouldn't believe. Homecoming Queen Brisa Martinez and Women's Club Art State winner Brianna Morris gave our community new perspectives with their wonderful artwork. The students in the GC Performing Arts Alliance give a lot of laughs, entertainment, and talent showcases for our community on top of their championship caliber one act and literary teams. I feel blessed to have experienced watching Key and Sexton act, perform, and blossom on stage or be drawn into the great lead performances and quartet uh, um, talent of Addison Baker. The trio team of Itza Lopez, Haley Sloan, and Aubrey Dorsey are awe-inspiring. And when Aubrey isn't pretending to be Lady Macbeth, I still like to remind her that she is, in fact, my spirit animal. I told you. I told you. I said, I'm not scared to flap like a bird. <laughs> Some forms of giving are less visible, but just as important to our school culture. Seeing Caitlin Bohan and give me a tired but hopeful grin every time we reminded each other about how close graduation was. That's something I'll always remember. And Caitlin, look, it's graduation. We're here. Where is she? We made it. <laughs> There are also students who give smiles and love unconditionally, like Kristen Long. Our pictures together will always be cherished memories for the administration team. Priscilla Juarez didn't want to give me anything to talk about her in my speech tonight, but her wit and literary discussions were more than enough. <laughs> Similarly, Hunter Lance uh, gave me a hug that was more than enough because I think he threw my spine out. It's been kind of been a little odd, but the love was appreciated all the same. And some people are just the very embodiment of kindness and determination. Students like Caroline Tatum. Class of 2022. <laughs> Class of 2022, you are not always going to have generous, understanding, empathetic, and supportive people surrounding you in life. That's just the nature of life. But I hope you have felt you have had that here at Gordon Central High School, and I hope you know that you always will. 
I charge each and one of you to represent those very same qualities in everything you do on the next steps of your journeys. GC is your home, GC is your family, and GC is your tribe. Anne Frank wrote, no one has ever become poor by giving. Graduates, whether it's an adjective or a verb, giving is what makes us one tribe. Make your life about giving and you will be rich in love and happiness. Thank you. For Superintendent Dr. Kimberly Fraker, on behalf of the faculty and staff here at Gordon Central High School in the Gordon County School System of Calhoun, Georgia, I certify that the students presented before you on May 25th have met the requirements set forth by the Georgia State Department of Education, and I recommend the members of the class of 2022 as qualified candidates for a Georgia High School Diploma. I'm Dr. Kimberly Fraker, Superintendent of Gordon County Schools. On behalf of the Board of Education for Gordon County Schools, I hereby accept Mr. Hall's recommendation and certify that these students of Gordon Central High School have met all the requirements put forth by the Gordon County Board of Education and the Georgia Department of Education. Congratulations, graduates. Now the moment you've been waiting four years for. Graduation. <laughs> Lindsay Grace Lawrence, valedictorian. <laughs> Drew Landon Luggenbuehl, salutatorian. Matthew Gentry Spence, highest honors. Brooke McKenzie Wilson, highest honors. James Alex Stone. Danielle Gale Stone. Kristen Leslie Long. Walker Andrew Angland, highest honors. Addison Lester Baker, highest honors. Harrison Heath Benton, highest honors. Alicia Louise Bingham, highest honors. Alexander David Briscoe, highest honors. Arancha Cristina Campos, highest honors. Isaac Naim Campuzano, highest honors. Cassie Cheyenne Chastain, highest honors. Caitlin Marie Chilito, highest honors. Kendall Neely Collips, highest honors. Isaac Lynn Crane, highest honors. Lily Grace Crow, highest honors. Victoria Louise Dean, highest honors. Yadira De Leon Matut, highest honors. Aubrey Grace Dorsey, highest honors. Kian 
Elizabeth Enriquez Sexton, highest honors. <laughs> Paris Rain Escobar, highest honors. <laughs> Sophie Allison Gaither, highest honors. <laughs> Kemi Christiana Godo, highest honors. Anna Jane Guider, highest honors. <laughs> Seth Lancaster Hare, highest honors. <laughs> Cade Brandt Hendricks, highest honors. <laughs> Ethan Ryan Hendricks, highest honors. Samuel Jack Joseph Holder, highest honors. Chandler Maxwell Huffman, highest honors. Larry Brayson Hyde, highest honors. Priscilla Eunice Juarez, highest honors. Evelia Lopez, highest honors. Itzel Lopez, highest honors. Gen Jennifer Itzel Lopez, highest honors. Brisa Nicole Martinez, highest honors. Brianna Ray Morris, highest honors. Nadia Mosqueda Jimenez, highest honors. Lexi Schaller Pope, highest honors. Lainey Grace Richardson, highest honors. John Michael Richardson, highest honors. Adrian Santana, highest honors. Haley Ruth Sloan, highest honors. Cora Elizabeth Stepp, highest honors. Austin Gage Timms, highest honors. Levi Dylan Townsend, highest honors. Jasmine Alexandria Ullman, highest honors. Madison Olivia Zufelt, highest honors. Brandolyn Savannah Allred. Avalos. Jose Avalos. Jefferson Alessandro Avila. Javin J.U. Baker. Haley Alexis Ball. Uzbin Ricardo Berrios. Jason Benitez. Brett James Black. Caitlin Brooke Bohannon. Carly Ann Brock. Abigail Elizabeth Broom. Aaron Tyler Burchett. Harley Orion Burke. Savannah Georgia Burnett. Akira Morgan Rose Buskey. Omar Daquan Bird.
Michaela Nicole Caldwell. Elizabeth Leanne Cameron. Randall Lee Carnes. Daniel Jose Centeno. Kaylin Elizabeth Chapman. Catherine Hannah Starr Cochran. Ashanti Triana Coleman. Hope Angeli Cooper. Elizabeth Cortez Palmerin. Sarah Bell Crowder. Tyler Lee Culberson. Grant Abram Daly. Emily Cheyenne Darden. Joseph Wade Olin Dotson. Zane Harris Duval. Caitlin Marie England. David Alejandro Fala. Emily Michelle Farrell. Andrew Riley Fowler. Emma Cherie Freeman. Michael Oswaldo Garcia Gonzalez. Charles Samuel Garcia. Lee Chen Gratz. Sean Mason Gray. Amber Jean Grooms. Anthony Guerrero. Paul Guerrero. Diego Ivan Gutierrez Gonzalez. JC Leanne Hales. Courtney Lee Harding. Juan Leonardo Hernandez Hernandez. Michaela Freedom Hernandez. Debbie Jasmine Herrera Romero. Laney Janae Hooker. Jeffrey Lamar House. Kyle Thomas James Howie. Christian Rabin Huff. Austin Lee Hunter. Taylan Danae Ingram. Maximilian Logan Jacobs. Scott Lee James. Jalen Erica Jimenez. Melvin Dakota Jones. Stephen Edward Jones. Josue Roberto Juarez. Leonardo Juarez Sanchez. Justin Lee Gage Keller. Yeah. 
Kaseo Rain Kinsey. Katie Alana Kirby. Kevin Dale Lambert. Hunter Austin Lance. Brisa Leo. Hunter Dakota Long. Cindy Lopez Mendoza. Angelica Victoria Lopez Ortega. Caitlin Wanda Mahan. Deanna Reese Martin. Tomas Martinez. Samuel Lewis Mathis. Bryson Lee McGinnis. Dre Malachi McIntosh. David Isaac Miller. Bonnie Lynn Moorhead. Kylie Lene Morris. Jordan Tyler Murphy. Michaela Ann Muse. Connor J. Newman. Shiana Michelle Wynn. Seth Alexander Null. Alejandro Tomas Onesto. Jeanette Organista Hernandez. William Zachary Pardue. Nicholas Adam Parker. Anaya Kimberly Pasley. Jason Zenedo Perez. Amber Leanne Pickens. Jordi Pisano Cruz. Haley Nicole Porch. Raleigh Ann Prophet. Rachel Catherine Rayleigh. Evelyn Judith Ramirez Lima. Jesse Joel Ramirez. Bradence Cole Randall. Jocelyn Lindsay Reyes Torres. <laughs> Hannah Michelle Reynolds. <laughs> Dean Clayton Rice. <laughs> Brian Rico. <laughs> Caitlin Alexis Roach. Andres Romero. Armando Sanchez. Nisa Fernanda Sanchez Leon. Marissa Ann Self. Taylor Danielle Sellers. Macario Aurelio Savila. Clifford Ryan Shaw. Alden Brock Shellhouse. Skylar Alexis Shook. 
Charles Anthony Short, Jr. Sandy Silva. Yahir Emmanuel Silva. Alexis Lillian Grace Smith. Jocelyn Rose Sorrentino. John O'Neill Stanley. Cheyenne Lynn Stevens. Colin Michael Sullivan. Megan Grayson Nicole Sullivan. Jonathan Enoch Talley Jr. Caroline Brooke Tatum. Elmer Jesse Terran. Isai Torres. Blade Michael Townsend. Zachary Foster Turner. Sanchez. Edwin Valentin Sanchez. Giovanni Vasquez. Emily Chiara Victoria Vasquez. Juan Manuel Vincente Pellico. Javen Iris Vineyard. Kayla Weaver. Mercedes Lane West. Emmanuel Xavier Wilson Estacio. Madeline Alexander Alexandra Wishon. Christopher Danielle. Daniel Yantucci. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Gordon Central Class of 2022. Classmen, fellow classmates, teachers, administrators, and the class of 2022. Good evening. Underclassmen, fellow classmates, teachers, administrators, and the class of 2022. We made it. Take a moment to reflect on what it took to reach this moment. I am Brooke McKenzie Wilson, your student body president, and it is an honor to speak before you this evening. I want to thank the entire student body for believing in me and in yourselves. These past four years have seemed like the shortest yet longest four years of our lives. The shocking events of our time here shorten the time spent with friends, but with those late night homework assignments, boring readings, and heartaches we faced, we created our own experiences. We did not give up when things got tough because we had our family, friends, and teachers supporting us the entire way through this journey. Our achievements have been vast and plentiful. Through the thick and thin of monotonous daily routines, we persevered and strode through the front door of Gordon Central with big smiles. We learned a great deal about the world and ourselves. 
we became great teammates and dependable classmates while creating unforgettable memories. Sitting in front of me, I see future teachers, doctors, soldiers, engineers, artists, lawyers, and careers not yet explored. Graduation does not define our ending. So go accomplish amazingly, amazing things and live the life you have worked so hard for. Go make the most of what you have learned over the past years. And most importantly, make the same impact on our world as you did while a warrior. Well, class of 2022, we did it. We accomplished one of the major early milestones of our lives. Remember, graduation is not the end. It is one step on the escalator of life. As we enter this new chapter, I believe every one of us can go out in the world and do anything we put our minds to. Pursue those dreams that you have imagined your whole life. This night would not be complete without thanking those who have supported me through the years. So, to mom and dad, thank you for the unconditional love and support these past 18 years of my life. Thank you to my coaches, friends, and family for supporting and believing in me through the years. As we move forward, my charge to you, classmates, is for us to find our place in this world and go Warriors. Thank you. And now what we have all been waiting for, graduating class of 2022, you may now turn your tassels. gentlemen, thank you so much for attending our graduation. Um, our next steps will be our faculty members and um, central office uh, faculty members. We will, they will go out first and they will create a line to celebrate your students who will then go second. We ask that everyone please stay in here. Do not exit until the last graduate has left. That is to show them respect and to give them a moment uh, to go uh, up the stairs. They will grab their diplomas in the upstairs holding room. And once they have done that, you are free to take pictures, enjoy the rest of the evening, and have a lot of fun. As I said, we are so thankful that you all came here. I'm extremely thankful that the Dalton Convention Center was able to host us and to host all of us. I thought that was extremely amazing and it has really, really helped to make sure that all the family members could be here. So thank you so much. We will start with our faculty members will begin. Um, oh, oh, sorry, I do that every time. <laughs> Dr. Waters is gonna break my arm. I, I'm, yes, we will end with the alma mater and then go from there. Thank you. Now will be the time when we're going to do our formal big old hat toss. On three. Are we ready, graduates? One, two, three! As mentioned,
mentioned, our faculty and staff will begin leaving first, and then our, our graduates will be guided out. Please remain in here until our last graduate has left. Thank you. Watch out, put them back on. Thank you so much for this lovely evening. Please drive safely, be careful, get lots of pictures, and love on those graduates. Thank you, and go Warriors!